This is a Meanwell LRS224 switch mode power supply for LEDs and other use. It is a 24 volt output. <coughs> the problem with this is that it being brand new just was not working, just didn't start, was not starting up. And what I notice is that these capacitors here, this one and this one, both of them are blown and the leg of this one is missing. In addition to that, there is a connection here that looks loose. It is for a jumper that actually goes to the capacitors. <coughs> So I'll have to check to see if there's some reason why these capacitors may have blown and if there are any other um, parts that may be bad along with this. This mean wheel power supply, lead power supply, is having significant problems. Uh, look, you can see an unsorted diode right here in the center. This mean wheel power supply is supposed to be given 24 volts and as it is here now it's giving about 60, 50 volts so I have to check to see what's what's that. Okay so this power supply is providing a very high voltage it is supposed to be a 24 volt power supply and the output voltage goes as high as 78 volts so I've seen, I've discovered that this transistor here is shortened this is the base and emitter of the transistor and those two are shortened so I'll have to change that and um, see if that resolves the problem. Okay, so this resistor here is open circuit. So when I test with it on the meter, look at the meter, <coughs> it's testing as open circuit. All right, come back. <coughs> and this resistor here is going to the opto isolator. And so if the auto isolator is not getting any feedback, then there will be a high or low voltage condition. In this case, it's a high voltage condition. So changing the resistors on the auto isolator fix this power supply. You can see now that it gives the 24 volts. The capacitors are not heating up. So I'll have to test it when I heat sink it on the, on the frame. It takes a little time for the capacitors to start discharging. For the voltage to drop because it's on, it's on no load. <coughs> and the voltage will drop now. Okay, so let's see if we could get the voltage to come back up and turn it back on. So it comes back on. Alright, so that should work. Okay, so I'm going to test the power supply. See if it lights up the 24 volts LEDs. And it lights them. So, you see that that's working now. 